Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to do some uh, topographic manipulation um, using uh, Edit Poly modifier and uh, a thing called Soft Selection. Um, I've got a uh, an example um, of a terrain. Um, and it's got a ramp that's cut out and um, I'm wanting to do some mounding and dipping um, on this surface here. Um, so there's a pro boolean object here. Um, what I'll do is um, I'll use the... I'll go to the modify panel and do what's called an edit poly. Um, edit poly is uh, quite a powerful um, modifier that allows you to manipulate a bunch of um, different aspects, um, vertices, so um, each of the kind of corners of the mesh you can kind of grab and pull up and down, um, edges, um, and if you hold control you can select multiple, um, you can drag those around, um, borders, polygons are probably the other ones, and you, you will notice that um, if you've done an, uh, a pro boolean on an object, um, the objects that were subtracted, you can um, they'll be the first thing that are uh, uh, sort of left selected um, in the edit poly. So you could detach those and put a different material or do other stuff to them. Um, you can kind of grab those and do stuff with them. You can do and there's a bunch of things you can extrude. You can do a kind of sketch up um, like push pull on on uh, polygons. Um, to do the um, I guess we're, we're wanting to do a little bit of mounding. Um, what we can do is select a vertice um, and use a quite a handy thing called the soft selection um, which would probably look like this. Um, soft selection there's a little plus there. If you click on the little plus, you can then turn that on. Um, depending on the size of your model, uh, you probably have to adjust um, the fall off. And this is kind of how far, um, when you manipulate that one vertice, how much impact and how far the impact goes. So, for example, if I move that up, um, you'll notice that it's kind of mounding up gently between where that um, selected vertice is and the kind of distance here, so it's 14.8 metres. Um, so I can fairly quickly kind of, and I can um, put some mounds in. Um, if I hold down control, I can do a few at a time. Um, and let's do some, I'll just decrease the size of that. Um, and I could do some kind of negative ones as well. Um, let's do them all in one hit. So I'm holding down control to select multiple um, and then that down. Um, and let's see what that looks like with the topography off. There we go. So I'm just using um, F4 the function key F4 to turn the um, polygons on and off in the display. Um, yeah, so that's kind of okay. Um, the other, so that's, I might just turn the soft selection off. There's another fantastic tool um, in here. If I pan right down the bottom, there's the push pull. Um, and this is sort of, well, it calls it a paint deformation. Um, so you'll notice that I've got a there's a kind of blue cross with a circle around it. If I um, turn that on, um, oops, um, I can control. You can sort of paint on the deformation. Um, you've got a bunch of controls down here as well. Um, I can change the kind of uh, value of the push. Um, let's make it a bit more subtle. Um, you can change the size of the brush um, so it can be a bit smaller. Um, so let's 
just do a bit of painting over here. Um, you can also um, uh, you can t you can do it in a well if you hold down I think it's Alt yeah Alt you can go negative um, so it's sort of pushing the the topography down. Um, you can also, and there's other options, you can do a relax, which is a bit hard to see on this geometry, but um, kind of lessens the steepness um, between the polygons, a bit hard to see. Um, probably easier to see would be revert, so I kind of went a bit overboard over here, so I could um, just paint on that to revert to, its, to the original um, topography. So sort of squashing that back down to where it was. Um, one thing you'll notice is that it, it works quite well if you're, um, you have a kind of dense-ish mesh, but um, here where there's not probably not enough um, triangles for it to work effectively, um, you might have to kind of re-topologize um, that, um, that geometry. So um, you might probably well it might be worth trying um, before you put the edit poly on so I might just I might just get rid of that edit poly um, you could select some area and do a mesh smooth or you could depending on the size of the mesh um, you could do a thing called a subdivide um, which is this modifier here um, and this modifier Basically, you set a kind of maximum triangle size, um, so I might go something a bit more like uh, 15 as the kind of maximum. You can see, so the biggest triangle is then 15 meters. Maybe I'll go a bit lower, 15, 5, let's go 4. Be careful not to plug in 0 because, um, well, it's sort of trying to divide things infinitely, which will probably crash your machine. So then I could do my edit poly. Um, and now I've got far more vertices that I can tinker with. Um, let's do the paint push. Um, maybe that's a bit overboard again. But now I can kind of paint into these areas that were not kind of um, accessible before. Um, yep. Okay.